Hey guys, Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. As you can see in the background, I've got, well, there's Tony right there in the corner. I'm not sure what that's going on there, but she's doing something productive, I'm sure. That right there is a 2019 Porsche Carrera 911. And it's awesome. So we're gonna be working on this car today we are in Prosper, Texas, just north of Dallas. And uh, my client had us out here to take care of three black cars. And so here we are from Tampa. And uh, we're gonna start with this one today. Um, let me get you some up close and personal data on this Porsche. So, got an LED light here. So in the video, you're gonna be able to see some of the deeper scratches here, but because it's metallic, which is definitely a plus for any black vehicle, um, the metallic is actually gonna jump out at you before the swirls do, unless the car is really hazy like this one is. So in the light, if you look directly where the light is, you can see well, you'll be able to see the haze better when I do a 50-50 so that you can see exactly what's happening. But it's all hazy. Definitely needs to be polished. Uh, as far as swirls go, I definitely see some. I'm not seeing any kind of craziness. Nothing out of the ordinary. It looks really good for... Um, well, I don't know how to put it and it not sound crappy, but uh, uh, the bottom line is most people aren't going to take the time that you should take to make sure you never have a swirl mark. This guy does a great job maintaining his cars. You can see the wheels have some brake dust on them, nothing fancy. I'm gonna get those all cleaned and coated. Uh, we are gonna take care of the interior. Um, we are putting on a new ceramic acrylic and graphene interior coating uh i've been working on so super 7 pro can be used on the interior but i wanted something specific to uh porous surfaces like leather and the plastics and that kind of thing so we're working on that and that that product is pretty much done has been for a while i've been using it not really talking about it and i really don't talk about things that we're working on until they're almost done or they're in the final stages of testing. So it's a brand new interior coating. It works amazing. Um, so we're gonna be treating the entire interior. The paint is gonna get two steps of polishing. Uh, I'm gonna use Smart Cut and then Smart Finish. And that's gonna make this paint look amazing. You can see the haze. If you kind of look at the bottom of where the, so there, you see the light dot, right? The, the, where the LED is in the paint. If you look at the bottom where the, where it's not as bright, you can see that haze as I scroll through here. Again, the defects, I, I can see them really well uh, in person here. But with that metallic and on camera, you can't really see the defects too too much. If I get real close, you can probably see some of the little scratches, fine scratches. Overall, it looks pretty good. Again, normal brake dust, nothing fancy. Car looks great, really. It's got some bugs on the front. It's that haze that's getting me. It's, it's just really hazy. So, just doing a full walk around. Just got to get all this vacuumed out and that kind of thing. Nothing fancy there. Yeah, it's going to clean up nice. That haze is not pretty. Now, this door has some more defects that than the other door did. I don't know if you can see it, like, right to the right of where the light is, you see this right here, and then there's another one right up there. Yeah, 
normal scratches, nothing fancy. All right, there's a full on walk around on this beast. Yeah, a little bit more scratching. If you look close, you can see the swirls and the random isolated deeper scratches in this bumper. I think my LED is dying on me. So anyway, that's what we're working on today. Um, we're about to get it washed and decontaminated and then I'll bring you back when I've done a test spot so that you can see uh, the before and after of the polishing. And you'll, you'll notice when I show you you'll really see the difference uh, in the not hazy and the hazy parts, if that makes sense. So, all right, time to get this bad boy started up and work it out. So here we go. We are getting rolling, but uh, I just wanna say, I, I'm, I'm not gonna mention this guy uh, just for privacy's sake, but he had us out and he ordered a vacuum, the vacuum I recommended. He got me a three-step ladder. We were able to bring all of my cool, fun toys that I like to use at home. I got my DeWalt uh, 15 millimeter throw DA. Uh, I brought six batteries. I brought the rapid charger. I brought my compressor to spray Super 7 and uh, Triple Trifecta top coat. All my brushes. I mean, I brought stools and everything, but he, he got me a vacuum. He got me a step ladder. I mailed a bunch of product to get the job done and he arranged it all nicely here. Looks great, uh, super nice guy. Uh, so I got all the pads I'm gonna need for the three cars. I got all the product that I need for the three cars, plenty of Super 7 Pro um, and triple trifecta top coat. We've got literally everything we need. Um, applicators, I sent coating, leveling towels, uh, drying towels, lots and lots of regular towels. Um, I, wa I brought a safe wash sponge. If you guys don't know anything about that, I tested a ton of different sponges and uh, these actually do not scratch. It's pretty awesome. Um, those work well if you're traditional washing and you want something that maybe is throwaway or isn't real expensive. I think I sell them for $4.99. I don't, I don't know. Anyway, it's a, it's a great sponge if you need something for a traditional wash that isn't going to break the bank and is not going to make you cry if you drop it. Uh, obviously brought some tape from a 50 fifties and taping up trim and whatnot. I sent a couple extra bottles. So I mailed all this to him and he set it out here nice and neat. I did also bring six batteries. Uh, I use the five amp hour batteries for my DeWalt. Um, well, all the cordless tools I bought, I think 15 of these, I got the rapid charger with me. Um, I should not have to go through more than four on a vehicle, maybe five, but I brought an X1 in case and the rapid charger. So, all right, well, that's it. That's all my goodies. I brought uh, one of my folding buckets. I've been using these a lot. They're awesome and they pack really small. That's what I love. And that's just a bag of snacks because you know, you need snacks when you're working on cars. All right, guys, to work. Okay, so I'm still clay in this thing and most of what you see is from the lower part of the rocker panel, but it, this car is definitely heavily contaminated. But again, most of that blackness, well, you know, that was a freshly kneaded side, but this was the lower rocker panel on the driver's side, but it was pretty black before that. Um, so pretty contaminated. It's exactly when I like to take control of a detail is uh, when you use them and they need a good clean and refresh and restore so i am on it let's do this omg it looks awesome you can see 
the nasty haze up here and the crazy clarity down here. So you can see also the tape line was right there. So put a tape, piece of tape right there and I have done the whole works on this section right here. And it is, I mean, we all know that perfection is not reality. I've been trying to beat that into your minds for years, but I'll tell you what, this is pretty dang close right now. Um, smart cut, smart finish, amazingness. Um, one of the things we can do to get you to understand what I'm talking about about this haziness is look at the light in the picture. Do you see how distorted outside it looks and the clarity isn't right there where the light bulbs are? But then when we come down here to this section that I have done the polishing on, you'll notice that it's a lot clearer. Now I'm going to scroll up and then back again. See how it just gets distorted when it comes up here and you see all the fog there? And then you bring it down here and it's not nearly as much. And what is there is literally just the light coming off and the clarity is there. Not so clear, much clearer. So I'm going to keep on keeping on on this thing. I do have another test spot I'm going to do back here. So hopefully in different lighting, since I have a little bit more light at the back of the car than I do at the front of the car, hopefully I can show you the dramatic difference there too. So I'm going to go ahead and do the back section right here and uh, I'll bring you back to show you that one as soon as I'm done. And then after that, I'm just going to get cranking. Okay, I did the, um, well, I'm using the DeWalt, obviously. So I did the test section on the back here. And if you look again where the light is right there up front, this is the line there. You can see it. See how dark this looks compared to how almost grayish that looks. I think the this car is riddled with haze, not necessarily deep scratches. But even if you look, well, you, know, you might not be able to see it on camera, but you can see all of the metallic in that without the light being directly on it, which is pretty awesome. So you know you've got good clarity when that's the case. So if you can see the metallic dancing on you and jumping out at you without uh, putting any light on it, you know that you've got enhanced clarity for sure. And so when you come over here, I can I can't see as much flake over here as I can over here. Now I know, look, if you look just on this side of this frame, you can see that metallic. I can see it through um, the camera here. If you look over here, it's definitely not as easy. I mean, you really got to, this is all polishing dust. So we've got definite clarity on this side. So where I'm doing the smart cut and smart finish, you've got awesome, awesome clarity and little to no defects. And then over here, that nasty haze. So I'm going to get, get going on what's happening. Very happy with the results. And you can see... It's got scratches everywhere, random scratches. I'm gonna get all those out, and I'll show you that later. But again, this is the section I did first. Looks awesome. All right, keeping on, keeping on while Tony Baloney is doing the interior. Hey, hey, looking good. Who is that, you? <laughs> all right, guys, back to work. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this 2019 Porsche 911 Carrera is all polished. So what I did was, I mean, and it turned out amazing. I've been putting one dot of smart cut on the pad with two dots of smart finish and that's how I polish this whole car. 
it gave me the exact amount of cut that I needed and the crazy brilliant finish I was looking for. So, everything was done, polishing wise, it looks amazing. Um, we had some bumper scratches, a few hood scratches uh, that I was able to get out. It had two really nice, really nasty scratches in here that I worked until I got it. Well, there's just a little left. You probably can't even see it. Yep, you can, just a little bit. The faint line right there. That's it. That's all she wrote. Um, we, uh, Tony, while I was working on the polishing, I had Tony, so I cleaned the wheels really well, got them really spick and span clean, and then I had Tony wipe everything down with Universal Clean and Prep at one part product to seven parts water. That's my stripper uh, dilution, if you will. Uh, not stripper like naked ladies, stripper like removing any and everything that's on the surface before you uh, go applying anything protective. So she did the universal clean and prep wipe down and then she applied Super 7 Pro Hybrid coating to every, every square inch of the wheel and then she went back over it with triple trifecta top coat. We did the brake calipers as well uh, and then she dressed the tires with the uh, universal dressing I can't really see well you can see slight sheen satin finish looks awesome so now it's time to apply some more super 7 pro um, to the paint so the wheels are all done the polishing is all done the interior is all done and coated. Um, I'll show you, well, I'll show you the full interior in a minute, but yeah, let me go ahead and uh, finish up the outside and then I'll show you everything that happened on the inside. So um, this is a one ounce bottle of Super 7. Uh, this is how it comes when you buy it directly from me. You cannot purchase this through the website. There's, I think, one kit that's an all-inclusive kit that I allowed you to be able to purchase this uh, because the kit has all the supporting products you need to get the absolute most out of this product. This is a professional coating. It works amazing. It's relatively easy to apply uh, compared to, well, every other coating I've used. Uh, it's easy to apply. It levels really easily. Uh, and then with, like I said, the supporting products like Infinite Use Detail Juice 1, which, uh, Triple Trifecta, which is in that spray bottle. Uh, with that, uh, the technology is, all, it's very similar, but it's a little different. Um, the IUDJ1 with, with tri Triple Trifecta, that product actually will move this product out of the way if you get high spots within one hour. So it helps to smooth it out if you need some extra help. Usually you don't, especially when you are using uh, the, the brand new coating leveling towels from detailjuice.com. These things are awesome. Um, I use these generic yellow foam applicators for my coating applications when I'm not. So the problem is I brought the compressor, but I left the hose and the sprayer at my hotel room and it's 30 minutes away it's not worth it when i can it's not worth going there to get that stuff today i've got two more vehicles to do here one tomorrow one sunday uh, but i can just wipe it on i want to show you guys that process anyway so i'm going to go ahead and get set up and show you how i wipe on super 7 pro uh, and uh, basically just give you a little tutorial of the application process, smoothing it out, and then that's it. So we'll be right back once I get set up and ready to do this. Hey guys, like I mentioned in the last clip, I'm using uh, Super 7 Pro right now. I'm going to show you how to apply it. Uh, we have gone through a couple different clips and now I'm just trying to run through it because the camera's not working properly. So, generic foam applicator because you're going to dispose of it once you're done. You're not going to reuse these at all. So it's not real complicated. 
Uh, I polished the whole car. It looks amazing. Wiped down with Universal Clean and Prep, and now it's time to apply the coating. So the two coatings, Triple Trifecta Top Coat goes on after Super 7 Pro, but they apply the exact same way. There is literally no difference in application process. You can wipe it on like this. You put a little bit on an applicator. Just like so. And you can wipe it on. Just like this. You want to thin it out on the panel as much as you can. You don't want thick. Um, you don't want to leave it thick because it's just going to make it harder to uh, remove it. All right, so you got all that applied to the lower half of the hood. So you'll set that to the side. And so what I recommend is, well, throwing that in the garbage. Um, what I recommend is our coating leveling towels from detailjuice.com. It's a great high quality, thin and small nap towel that does an awesome job of removing just the last bit of Super 7 and Triple Trifecta Top Coat. So I take a regular towel, this is a brand new towel, and I call it the bulk knocker towel. So what that means is you're gonna go over everything and knock off the bulk, okay? So, bulk is knocked off. You can see the dramatic difference. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. Now you take your coating leveling towel and you literally level it. You should not have to wipe too much and you want to watch the paint so that you see what's happening. Turn to a clean side. In most cases you only need one to two of these coating leveling towels per car. Uh, when I sell the kits on the website, I think there are three in the kits. But that's it. It all looks very level and nice to me. Get off that little bit of residue on the top there. Looks good. Nice and glossy. Now, I'm going to go ahead and apply it to the top. You have basically one hour until the, the Infinite Use Detail Juice 1 with Triple Tech won't move this out of its own way. The closer you get to that 60 minute window, the harder it's going to be. And if you don't get it off within that hour and it cures on you, good luck. You're going to have to polish it off. It's going to turn into concrete and not come off there. So. You just got to make sure you get all of your residue off before you move to a next, the, the next segment, basically, or section. Uh, the next step would be <clears throat> finishing this hood and then uh, moving on to the next panel. So I do a full vehicle with Super 7 Pro, then I will do the full vehicle with Triple Trifecta Top Coat. Then I walk around it again with if you use Detail Juice 1 with Triple Trifecta to make sure that I have no streaks, no high spots, no nothing, and that it is pristine and the absolute best possible that it, it can look. So I'm going to go ahead and keep going around this vehicle with Super 7 Pro. Then I'll head it with Triple Trifecta Top Coat and I'll show you what she looks like when she's done. I'm sure you can hear the thunder. It is about to start storming, so there is no chance this thing's getting out in the sun today. Uh, so stay tuned for the rest of the video. All right, guys, I hope you guys are, are as excited to see this thing as I am to show it to you. Um, it looks amazing. Of course it does. I've been working my ass off to make sure it does. So let's get right to it. All right, so the wheels are all coated. The tires are dressed with universal dressing. The car is all corrected and coated. Looks awesome. I mean, it just looks amazing. 
Tony got on the interior and uh, got her all vacuumed out, uh, cleaned up, and then coated. Door jams are all clean. If you'll notice, the coatings don't leave a nasty, slick, snotty look or feel on the interior. Looks very nice and new and professional is a word I like to use for the look. So, man, pretty car. Got the windows all wiped out. Sorry you can't see it better. This is what we got to work with. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate you guys uh, for taking the time to listen to me babble. This is day one of three days that we'll be in Texas doing some details. Um, and it looks like we've already booked the next trip since we've been here. So we will be back. I'm super stoked. This guy loves what I do, obviously. He had me come here from Florida. But uh, we are cranking them out, working it to the best of our ability to make sure that this guy loves every piece and part of what we do here. So uh, we got this thing all cranked out, 2019 Porsche 911 Carrera, and it looks great. I'm very happy with the job we did here today. Tomorrow we get started on his Range Rover. That's gonna be a very nice treat. That's a top of the line. Well, we'll talk about that tomorrow. So this wraps up day one of this uh, Dallas detailing extravaganza and um, we're going to pack it up for the day. Go get some Texas Tex-Mex and uh, see how we love that. We had some Texas barbecue last night, which wasn't bad at all, to say the least. Uh, it was really good, very flavorful. Uh, not what I'm used to, but it was still really good. So, um, Happy with that. We're gonna try out a few other things. We went to Gas Monkey Garage. We went to Gas Monkey Bar and Grill. We went to Dealey Plaza and saw where JFK was assassinated and all that cool stuff. Did some other touristy things. Uh, so now we're gonna go uh, get showered, rest up, see some things around town. We'll be back here tomorrow. So 813-846-4406 uh, is my cell. If you need any help with detailing, uh, for your detailing endeavors, reach out. I'll help you however I can. Check out detailjuice.com for all my products and check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. It's a group on Facebook where we talk about only my products, my processes, and what I've got going on. If you guys want to see more stuff like this beautiful Porsche, stay tuned and check out the rest of my older videos. So thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate you guys taking the time. And then uh, check out the uh, day two and day three video after you're done with this one. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.